All right, here we go. Three, two, one, action. One month. In 17. Or seven and a half. Minutes. <laughs> the Surfing Violinist presents The Family Vlog, May 2021. Moving time. Time for us to get the stuff out of the attic now. So the bulk of the moving stuff happened right at the end of April. Uh, moved out of my old office and had to shift a lot of stuff to here and there and everywhere in between. Um, yeah, it is it is what it is. Still hit my head on it one more time for good measure. Well, since 2016, this is where the surfing violinist has made the uh, <laughs> uh, the what would you even call it? The magic that lost its luster, I guess. The wilderness period of the surfing violinist imagination. I'm pretty happy with these walls, though. You should have seen how many holes I put in this wall. Mel and Mom brightened up the proceedings with a little moving day drinking, Florida mom style. And speaking of Florida man, Tho designed these great koozies. Melissa loves this. Don't tread on Florida. Introduce Rohan to Bubble Tea. We're at the uh, Oriental Market here on 6th Street. And uh, Rohan decided he'd want to try some bubble tea. You like it? Sweet. Wait until you get a tapioca pearl, then you'll really like it. Special thanks to Tate and Tammy for letting us join uh, at Tammy's place on Dog Island, Tammy's family's place. Uh, it's real desolate, like out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you get the feeling of being like up in the crow's nest, looking down. There's saw all of these stingrays and wildlife, and it was just a, a cool escape from civilization for a little while, and uh, just a great time. So it's kind of wild too. I started the month out teaching Rohan a little bit of tandem surfing using Tate's Ron John soft top surfboard. And then just yesterday, we ended the month on Tate's soft top surfboard standing. I stood up the first time on the board with Rohan on the front. Unfortunately, I ended up creasing the board. So uh, it's only two days uh, surfing Tate's board with Rohan on it. And uh, I managed to break it. Not the only surfboard I broke this month. I had a little surprise swell, and the regular footers took over the east side of the county pier. Rhett leading the charge, and uh, we had a good time. Hunter actually made it out of one, proving it can be done. Uh, but I just pretty much ate it nonstop. And I did break Floaty, as Rohan named him. Floaty uh, will come back, though. I'm going to do some, do some surgery. Of course, I did some... Perfume Nationalist Ford Light the Car Fragrance shenanigans. Tastes pretty good, actually. <laughs> you should follow me on Twitter if you want the, the Ford Light the Car Fragrance. All right, speaking of Egypt, I've got a, a scent I want all of you tr to try. So, Ken, we'll start with you. Oh, Bijan for men. No, oh, come on, spray it on just a little. Here, spray it on my wrist, and then you can smell it on no, the skin. spray it on, you walk through it like this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. A little clean but spicy. All right, you, you see what you think. See, she's got the uh, Egyptian necklace on. <laughs> pure gold Egyptian necklace. So you should really love this. No, I smell something in it that's familiar. Do you have any history with fragrance, Jeff? No, I don't. Yeah. But I have a nose for some things. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of just like back to the 80s, kind of. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I agree. It's got a top note of 1989. You got to smell it on skin. You either spread it yourself or you have to smell on a wrist. It's not it's no homo, it's all right. I smell you, but I'll try it. <laughs> I got fifty percent off. Fifty it's right in, the in, the in the middle, in the middle. Skin so soft. It does have Oh, it makes you think of skin so yes, soft. That's, that's interesting. The podcast today was about this actually. Oh, that's right. The guest appeared today on Perfume Nationalists on the episode pairing Bijan with Ancient Evenings and Matthew Barney's River of Fundament. Enter if you dare. Only if you appreciate maximalist works of art. Not nearly at the level of maximalism or work of art was The Serpent, which we watched this month, uh, me, Satya, and Melissa. It was cool seeing also Dasha, who uh, has actually guest appeared on Perfume Nationalist, Dasha of Red Scare, and Amanda Millis' film, The Lotus Gun. So it was kind of a cool serendipity seeing her pop up in this show on Netflix. It's kind of cool. And overall, I like the show because it's, it actually identifies a pressure point. 
uh, a real fault of mine, actually, in, in some of my experiences in India, just the free-spirited foreigner being glib and not really appreciating what's going on in another culture. I liked the villain's rants about that stuff. On a sunnier note, Melissa did find some old surfing violinist merch. Uh, that brought back some good memories. Special thanks again to Allie for the great design that she gave to our channel. Hung out with Aaron, had the best performing tweet of the month. Do this stupid little reaction. Make that the second best performing tweet of the month. Boomer memes, ladies and gentlemen. And then uh, he introduced us to Paranoia Agent. On the creature side of things, I got to see two species this month. One was this giant spider. I was out there filming at the state park, and uh, a park employee was like, hey, come check this out. Do you like bugs? I was like, yeah. Do you like spiders? Yeah. So she showed me this giant wolf spider. It was kind of cool. And then also, I was at my old place of work, Regency DRT. I'm doing some videos on the side for them. And... Uh, I saw this. These are palm weevils, and this actually grossed me out way more than a spider ever could. I have a situation here in Panama City, Florida. What is that? And why are all these weevils like swimming in it? I'm just slightly disgusted. Just a little bit of a uh, brain dead, dead alive kind of consistency to this gunk. This dude's swimming in it. They're making noise. Good. Rohan's getting a lot braver with skating, getting him a little higher speed now. He also, for the first time this month, scurfed thanks to Tate. And I just thought it was so cool. I can't believe Tate was able to do this. Keep it in touch. If you weren't a kook, you would have seen this video when it uploaded. Join the lineup here on YouTube or become a patron and become a TSVIP and get early and ad-free access. See you later.